reliable place for daily news about XRP and Ripple. Thanks for coming. We'll talk about an amazing find from the early days of cryptocurrencies in this episode. Satoshi Nakamoto, the creator of Bitcoin, praised Ripple in an email exchange from 2009. This conversation with Marty Sirius Molly, a well-known Bitcoin developer, gives us a look into the early days of Bitcoin and highlights Ripple's creative use of a decentralized trust framework and digital transactions. We'll also talk about the mystery surrounding Ripple's quick release of 400 million XRP tokens, which is thought to be worth $217 million and has finally made people curious and open to guessing. We'll talk about the current state of the cryptocurrency market with a focus on XRP. The latest technical trading update shows that the price is going up, but buyers should be aware that it could go down as well. Stay tuned for a more in-depth look at these interesting changes in the coin world. If you already follow us and like our videos, please click the like button. If not, please think about joining and let us know in the comments what you love most about XRP and Ripple this week. In a fascinating find from the early days of cryptocurrency, Satoshi Nakamoto, the person who created Bitcoin, praised the Ripple project in an email from 2009. Marty is thought to have been a part of this conversation. Cyrus Mali, a Bitcoin worker who worked hard from 2009 to 2011, helped make the email conversation between Satoshi Nakamoto, the fake name of the person who created Bitcoin, and the platform. Since Mali made it public, there is a legal disagreement in the UK over who the real person is who created Bitcoin. The fight is over claims made by Craig Wright, an Australian computer scientist, and the crypto industry consortium Copper, which aims to stop copyright lawsuits and make sure that patented cryptographic technologies are available to everyone. The conversation between Nakamoto and Mali, the unknown personal group who is thought to have created Bitcoin and laid the groundwork for blockchain technology, covers a range of topics related to the cryptocurrency, such as how it will increase in value over time and the idea of fractional Bitcoins. During their conversation, Nakamoto gave information about how Bitcoin can be expanded and how it can handle a lot of transactions without needing to charge fees right away. Mali brought up the idea of Ripple and said it could be a very important project. Ripple is known for its unique way of making a decentralized trust system for digital transfers. This is different from other digital currencies that depend on a central authority. Nakamoto replied with praise pointing out Ripple's creative approach to trust systems and saying that Ripple is the only one that spreads trust instead of focusing on a few places. The email conversation gives us a look into the early days of cryptocurrencies and the people who helped them grow. Mali started out as a starting programmer in college in 2009. He was the first programmer to work directly with Bitcoin's mysterious founder and was very important to the project's early growth. Mali quickly became well known because he was the only active creator in the early days of Bitcoin. He and Satoshi worked together closely and almost became friends, which is why Satoshi gave Mali management rights on the Bitcoin.org website. Mali also made a big difference in the second version of the Bitcoin code. A few years later, Mali gave up on the project because he thought Bitcoin was ready for prime time and was inspired by Satoshi's decision to leave. I think Bitcoin had already made the important change even before he needed it to. From the start of the organization to a well-established one with a growing community and a group of skilled workers dedicated to its growth. In an interview with Coindesk in 2018, Mali explained that the email exchange between Nakamoto and Mali puts light on the people who shaped the early stages of Bitcoin development and also shows the promise of Ripple, a company that has since become very important. In the world of cryptocurrencies, Ripple offers an unusual way to unlock tokens. It took out 400 million XRP tokens worth about $217 million from its trust account, which was a surprise that has many people interested. This news has an effect on the neighborhood. The people who use XRP are confused about the time. Even though it doesn't happen on a daily basis, Ripple always releases a lot of XRP tokens from its escrow account on the first of every month. Being a part of its working method, this system makes sure that no more than a certain number of tokens can be sold on the market at any given time. This is meant to make the XRP supply clear and predictable. By doing this, Ripple hopes to lower the chance of market manipulation while still keeping the price of XRP stable. The fact that the most recent unlock didn't follow Ripple's usual process has led people to make guesses and come up with ideas. Besides that, the letter that went with the transaction added to the mystery by asking in a mysterious way why February's escrow wasn't carried out and including some strange shout outs. There was no escrow for February, but welcome back. This is John Hodder. The strange timing of this event comes after a deal in February where only 500 million XRP coins were put into lockup. In contrast to the amount that was opened in January, which has led people in the community to spread rumors about Ripple's plans, Always keep in mind that Ripple's operations are paid for by the monthly unlock, development projects and cash commitments. But because this new development in the blockchain ecosystem came as a surprise, many people in the community are wondering what the company's plans are. 
In general, the XRP community is confused and interested in what Ripple has been doing lately. The cryptocurrency market will now be talked about with a focus on XRP's technical trading report that shows a bullish trend. This will lead to a discussion of what the company plans to do next. Traders are told to be careful, though, because the market could be volatile. From what CoinStats can tell, the week ending February 26th looks good for most coins, including XRP. The XRP coin statistics chart has not moved since the price of XRP has stayed the same. But since the previous day, the hourly chart for XRP has been negative. This is because if buyers don't act by the end of the day, in this area, it is close to the 05434 support level. In terms of the daily chart, there's a good chance of a rise followed by a drop to the 54 cent area. There was no real breaking of the candle from yesterday in the price of XRP. Mark sellers might get back in if the bar's peak ends far from where it started. This could lead to a drop to the 530.535 level. In the middle term, this means that even though XRP hasn't changed much in the last few days, there is still a chance that the price could go up or down, which would have an equal effect on traders and buyers. The price is in the middle of the Y channel right now, and neither bulls nor bears are in charge of the market. This means that big changes in prices probably won't happen anytime soon. Traders and buyers shouldn't expect any overall because of this. The most likely outcome for the near future is that prices will stay between 53 cents and 57 cents. At the time of writing, the price of XRP is 0 0.05446 for the next few weeks. The price of XRP is known to change a lot on the coin market, so this could change at any time. The cryptocurrency market is still expected to be unstable on February 25th, so buyers and traders should be careful. Should be careful. Some small changes have happened in XRP over the last few days. Traders should be ready for anything because this could change in the next few weeks. Last words and an end this episode was very interesting because it showed us a lot about coins. It started with a surprise nod from Satoshi Nakamoto, the mysterious founder of Bitcoin, to Ripple. This showed how much the early leaders of the industry admired and respected each other. It then looked at the interesting case of Ripple's recent token unlock that no one saw coming. That led to speculative guesswork. As we wrapped up our study into the XRP community with a technical trading update that pointed out bullish trends in the crypto market, while also warning about the market's inherent volatility and unpredictability, it was clear that cryptocurrency is always changing and growing. We are reminded of the exciting opportunities and risks that the blockchain and digital currency space has to offer. Just so you know, as always, nothing in this movie is meant to be taken as business advice. It's meant to teach you something instead. I hope you enjoyed what you read today. Pay close attention. Come back tomorrow for more on the important Ripple and XRP news.